Hey, Mr. Safety Cone. Hey. We're going to be working with power tools today. Really? In the dark. Wow, that's a great idea. You think so? Sure. Don't try this at home. This box arrived the other day with these amazing silicone molds in here from my friend Jake Thompson over at Northside Custom Crafts. Here's Jake's channel. Here's Jamie's channel. They do a Saturday morning resin pouring stream, which is fun. Um, and then I got to the bottom of the box, this. And Jake's got this method that he uses where the colors swirl, but they don't mix together. They all stay their individual color. And it's when I saw this, when I knew we had to do a black light video. So let's go ahead and mount it on the lathe and see what we can make out of this. What we're gonna make today is a handle blank. The last time I turned on the lathe was before I broke my wrist. I did keep my cast. We're gonna have to figure out what to make out of this, but we're not working with the cast today. So now that we've got that hole there, we should be all done with the chuck. Oh, there's a spacer. <laughs> I need the spacer. Got ahead of myself here. And I'm gonna be turning today with my carbide tools, my easy wood tools. We are still square. We are more square than round. It's getting close over here. You see all the colors that we're getting out of this blank? Isn't that amazing? So with a handle, what we want to do is, there's a little piece on here. On the mandrel, there's a piece of metal, and we're trying to line up the blank with that piece of metal. Probably a little hard to see for you, but I can see it just fine. Look at these cool iridescent streamers we're getting. I really like that. All right. Wow. Okay, the blank still looks really good. Amazing. I think we can go a little further down on the... Biscuits. Gotta catch. All right, so I'm gonna go with a taper shape right here because I got a stinking catch. I gave a little chamfer here to the end. I think you can see that. Okay, we'll put some of this glowy bits behind it. Maybe, there you go. You can see the little chamfer that I've added to the end there. All right, I think we can move on to the sanding. 
and the sanding will begin at 240. I picked the tapered shape solely because I like it and not because I'm an idiot who decided to do one last pass and got a big old catch. And I think I should go all the way through the grits. 320, 400, 600, and 800. And my chamfer on the end here is turning into a roundover, which is actually becoming a very pleasant feel. And this is the last one. This is 800 grit. And after this, I'm debating whether or not to jump to my micro mesh pads or to just move over to some wax. It feels really good. Normally at this step, I will have cleaned up the shavings. The shavings are actually giving us some decent light, so we're gonna keep them. Micromesh is its own grist system. It goes from 1500 up to 12,000. I just go through the grits one at a time. Jake uses a different type of resin than I do, but I can smell the difference. <laughs> you just get used to a thing. I'm like some weird resin dog. I don't know, that doesn't smell right. It's funny, these pads have colors, and so you can tell which pad you're on because of the color, but under the black light, they all look brown. All right, I think I'm on the blue pad. Can you tell? Is the blue pad? Easy Wood Tools just acquired a polishing company that I've used in the past called Yorkshire Grit, but I don't think I've ever used them in conjunction with my polishing pads. I'm gonna try that today, just out of curiosity good. This stuff, you just get a little bit on a rag and you kind of put it on here. This has some sort of grit in it. Pushing my paper towel up against this here and that's generating some heat and it's hopefully breaking down the grit that's in the paste wax into smaller and smaller bits, therefore giving us a better and better finish as we go. I kind of like that sound. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's stuck. So this piece of hardware is a bottle opener. It was sent out to me from Carl and Robin Jacobson. This thing came out so cool. Uh, it looks amazing. I feel like a toothpaste ad. Also looks amazing in regular light. It came out really cool, the hardware's great. And because it's also got clear resin in it, if you look close, you can see the space between the burl and the color. Uh, I did get a catch at the top, so there's a couple little spots that aren't perfect, but that's my fault, nobody else's. I haven't tried to do black light turning video in forever. I think the last time I did a black light turning video, I still had a flip camera. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you Jake for the blank, and thank you Carl for the hardware, and thank you guys for watching. That was super fun. Oh, I'm gonna be at Open Sauce in July. I believe it is July 14th through the 16th, 2023, down in San Francisco, California. So if you're gonna be down there, I would love to meet you, say hello. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you. So what'd you think of that, Mr. Safety Cone? I didn't know that's what we were gonna be doing. I told you that's what we were gonna do. That was really dangerous. I called it. You shouldn't have done that, Mr. Safety. I called OSHA on you. You definitely shouldn't have done that.